Come in, command. Come in, command. This is Medical Officer Dufresne. I've arrived at Freelancer Program Simulation Outpost 17. Command? Command? Command! This is Medical Officer Dufresne. I've reached FPS Outpost 17. Hey, down here! We're over here! Hey, come down here! Never mind, Command. I think I see the objective. Stupid radio doesn't work anyway. What else is new? Holy cow, Simmons! Is that you? Oh, hey, Doc. Man, I didn't know they'd send you. Yeah, we got the radio call and I was the closest medic, so they sent me. But I didn't know it'd be you guys. Small galaxy, huh? Man, we got a lot of catching up to do. So what's up? Somebody hurt or what? What's going on? Him. Him? Um, he's dead. Yeah, he is. He was shot. Um, Simmons, I know it's been a while since we've seen each other, and I have increased my skill as a medic in that time, but dead is still pretty much outside my jurisdiction. Man, I just didn't know they'd send you. Yeah, you said that already. Hey, is everything okay with you? It's not my fault, Doc. I, I had to make the call. They made me. They needed someone with medical training. What are you talking about? I didn't mean for you to get involved. I'm sorry, really. Sorry about what? Uh-oh. He's sorry about us. Hey, Griff, what's up? Hmm? Oh, hey, Tucker. What are you doing? Well, Sarge told me to bury all the bodies from our battle. That's a lot of graves. A lot of holes to fill. About to get And now I can't find them because the bodies were piled over here by these stone pillars, and then the wind came and blew sand all over the damn things. So I guess they're already buried. Good job, dude. I like the way you think. Griff, what the hell are you doing up here? I thought I told you to bury those bodies. What? He did. He buried the shit out of them. Look. What the... I only gave you that order five minutes ago! How'd you do it so fast? Did you help him? Help him? Dude, we've been fighting for like eight years. Haven't you learned anything about me yet? I'm a lover, not a digger. Yeah, maybe he would have helped me if some of the bodies were dead ladies. And I realized that sounded a lot creepier than what I intended. Well, does someone want to say a few words? Words? Yes, these men were soldiers. Even if they were enemy soldiers, they still deserve a eulogy. Well, don't look at me. I'm a lover, not a talker. Hey, dude, you want to make another sex with dead people joke? No, I think I hit my quota. Well, what about your buddy, Mr. Cold Leader? So, then was one guy said some things to another guy, and the people liked it. And that's pretty much that. It's not his fault. Those aliens just worship this ancient technology and the people who made it. <laughs> What's a brother going to do? Who in Sam Hell worships technology? Are they from the internet? Yes. This is, yes, very interesting. I understand everything that is being said. Good. Caboose, what are you doing? Get out of there! It's not fair! I, I worshipped church way before it was cold to worship him! Hey, I already told you, that's still not cool. That will never be cool. Ever. Oh, hey there, guys. How's life among all the non deities Pretty lame, I bet. Pretty sure none of you've been worshipped all day long today. Weak. You think you guys might be milking this just a bit? Hey. Do you want to tell the big group of deadly aliens that they're mistaken and he's not who they think he is? Mm, I see your point. Hey, your circular holiness! How about delivering the eulogy? We're burying most of these guys because of you anyway! Me? I only lasered one guy. Which was awesome. I know it was, right? So cool. The laser came out of your face. Have you been able to figure out how you did that yet? No, I think it's just because I got really mad. Hey, say something to make me angry. See if it happens again. You're ugly and nobody likes you. You're annoying and your team sucks. You're rounded, you can't wear pants. You guys came up with all that really quickly. Eh, it pays to be prepared. Did it work? Are you pissed? No, I think I'm actually kind of depressed now. Caboose is right. I can't wear pants. Well, I only said it because everyone is taking it. Maybe mad makes a red laser, and depressed will make a blue laser. Well, I hope we don't find out what makes a brown laser. You hey, idiot, shut up. Hey, Globy, you're making a speech, aren't you? Hey, sure, no problem. I did a sermon just the other day that the aliens loved. Sermon? You just read them the setup guide to our inkjet printer. Yeah, and they eat that gadget stuff up. You gotta know your audience, buddy. How is it possible that ever since Caboose revived you, you can't remember anything except how to be a jackass? <laughs> Some things are hardwired. Attention, true believers! And other people. We are here today to pay our final and our first respects to the dearly departed. But first... 
I'd like you all to join me in a song in honor of me. Mm, I am the best. Give it. it. Fine. Okay, uh, in the beginning, there was darkness. And, uh, and out from the darkness came a voice. And it said... And it said... Uh, uh, out, out from the darkness came... Out from the darkness... Is his playback skipping? I don't know. Maybe he needs to reboot. Good thing I wore my boots. I'll reboot him right in the keister. <laughs> out from the darkness came, uh... Someone. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, the natives are getting restless. Caboose, get up there and stall them. I'll figure out what's going on. Yes, and out of the darkness came someone! And that someone was me! Yes! And I said, funerals are sad! And we should have a birthday party instead! Yes! Yes! Let there be cake! Um, hallelujah! Gesundheit. Hey, you! Hold on a second, who are you? Hey, I'm talking to you! What are you, deaf? What are you... What? Church! Hey, Church! What are you doing out here, man? What? What? The aliens don't like you when you leave them alone. And I don't like it when the aliens don't like stuff. Did you see him? Who? The person. From the darkness. The... No, that's not right. That's not right. What did you see? What's he talking about? I think he's having another memory flash. A what? Random memories that keep coming back to him. He's been getting them more and more lately, and I don't think he has any control over them. He gets all emo, too. It's annoying. Like having a chick around, but without all the fun parts of having a chick around. Like boning. You should take out his memory unit and blow on it. That'll fix it. Is he having more memories? Yep. Did he remember me this time? Nope. I saw a canyon and a, a waterfall. And there was some kind of dark figure there. Was the dark figure me? Caboose, we will let you know if you come up. I promise. A waterfall, huh? That's the second time you've talked about that. Yeah, but where could that be? Uh, that sounds like our new bases. It does? It does! What? Caboose, why didn't you mention that the first time? Um, I didn't remember it? You didn't remember a waterfall? Dude, that's like not remembering your first girlfriend turned out to have a dick. Right, Griff? Sometimes I'm sorry I even told you that story. <sighs> hey, Sarge, what's wrong? I don't like this, Griff. What, the vision? It's a waterfall. It's literally impossible to forget. Like girlfriend dick. Yeah. I've never been what you call a new age kind of guy. You don't say. But this bowling ball seems to be on a heck of a roll. Pun intended. What with the flying and the laser shooting and all. And he can lift stuff without arms. It's pretty cool. There too. What if there's something to this whole vision thing? We need to call Simmons. Find out if he's seen anything out of the ordinary. How? Our long-range radio here got destroyed, and we don't have enough signal power in the jeeps to reach him. I think I have an idea how to fix that. Oh, my head. Oh. Doc, you're alive. Oh, good. Yeah? No thanks to you. Why'd you hit me? I didn't hit you. They did. Jerks. Who are they? The Dark One's Washington. He's a freelancer. Great. Because those guys are always such a blast to hang around with. The big one? We call the meta. But rumor had it those guys were disbanded. Everyone went to jail. Yeah? Well, I guess they got paroled. You two, quiet. Then you need to stop trying to use all of them. You just don't have the resources anymore. Meta killed a bunch of other freelancers. Took their equipment. Like the invisibility? Yeah, and the shield and the thing that slows down time. He also stole their AI fragments, but those all got wiped out. Now something seems... I don't know, wrong with him. An AI fragment? That, I remember. Hey, Simmons, remember that AI had for a while? That thing was crazy. Yeah. Halt. Meta, stop! <laughs> Simmons, help me! You, what did you just say? That I had one of your AI units? Stand down. You said had. Where is it now? Gone. Which one? Uh, 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 the mean one. Its name. Did you know its name? Uh, O'Malley. I mean, uh, Omega. Well, that one's been accounted for. I, I only had it for a short time. Well, then, good. You know what to look for. I need a complete scan of my friend here. And I would recommend you don't use any needles. He hates needles, and we wouldn't want to make him angry. Now, would we? All right, let's try this. You ready, Antenna Ball? I told you not to call me that, and hurry it up. This metal rod isn't exactly in a comfortable place. Hey, 
Do you want to find out about your vision or don't you? Come in, Valhalla Outpost number one. Come in, Red Base. Do you read me? Come in. Give me some more power, shot put. Uh, Sarge? Yeah. Hi. Who is this? Identify yourself. It's me, Simmons. Sorry, sir. How's everything going there, Simmons? Here? Uh, fine, I guess. Everything's good. How about you guys? Mission is complete. We're preparing to head out soon. What was that? Sorry, some static here. This radio's a little messed up. Been a bit rainier here. I said we're coming back soon. Oh, that's great. Hey, when do you think that'll be, exactly? Hard to say, Simmons. We'll let you know. Okay, Sarge. Sounds good. Over and out. Okay, good. Now get back over there. That was your sergeant? Yeah. You think he'll come help us? No, I couldn't say anything to him. If they come, they'll be walking straight into a trap. Thanks for the help. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna fly straight for a week now. Simmons sounded good. I guess he's got everything under control. Donut and Lopez are dead and someone is taking Simmons prisoner. What? Everything sounded fine to me. Think about it. How do you answer the radio at our base? Thank you for calling Red Base. This is Private Griff. I may assist you today. And we've drilled that since day one. Simmons answered hi. That was my first clue. So maybe he's just He a... also said the radio was in disrepair. When has Lopez ever let something go without the proper maintenance? Never. And look at the time. Can't. Clock's broken. It's 17.30. And everybody knows that 17.30 is... Donut's daily wine and cheese hour. I didn't hear any tinkling glasses. Did you? You're right. He also mentioned that the weather was rainier. And as we all know, Mount Rainier is the biggest landmass in the state of... Washington. We do? Uh, I mean, we do. How many Washingtons do we know? Did he mean Agent Washington? And who's the biggest mass we know associated with Washington? The Meta. So the Meta and Washington have teamed up to kill Donut and Lopez, and now they're holding Simmons and Doc prisoner. We have to help them. Wait, Doc? How, how do you know he's there? Please, Griff, it's so obvious. I don't want to insult your intelligence by explaining every little detail. Oh, uh, okay. Go on. We're going to Valhalla. It's time for a rescue mission. Rescue mission? How the hell are we supposed to fight Wash in the meta? Don't worry, I have a plan. How good are the seatbelts in this new Jeep? Good, I guess. Valhalla, huh? Wait, why? Doc, what did you find out in your scan of the meta? Uh, it's hard to say. He's added so much non-standard equipment to his armor, I can't really get a good reading on him. I didn't want you to run an intelligence report on him. I wanted a medical one. His power systems are stressed from trying to maintain it all. Is he missing some component that controls all this, or...? Physically. Is he fine physically? Yeah, I guess. Good. Next time, answer the question I ask. I'm watching you two. Give me any trouble, and you're dead. Don't believe me? Ask your buddy about his friend, Donut. Hey, he does realize that I'm the one who scanned Donut's dead body, right? I think he was just making a point. Hey, I have an idea. Give me your scanner thing. My scanner? Why? It can't be used as a weapon. Maybe it can. If I can overload the power cell, you may be able to fire an overcharged burst. It could short out the meta systems. Either that or... Or what? Huh? What? No, 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 no. No or. Just that. Forget the or. You were going to say explode, weren't you? No. Were you thinking explode? Why don't you just give me the damn scanner? Oh, Simmons! Simmons! Where are you? Yoo-hoo! Looks like just one of them. I don't know if he has it. I can't see from this far. Simmons! No, you stay here. Guard these two. I'll go out there. If he gives me any trouble, just kill the prisoners and come help me. I hope your friend doesn't give him any trouble. If he's one of my friends, we don't stand a chance. <laughs> Yo, dudes! Sarge! Griff! Where'd you go? Oh, great. Um, hey, Tucker? Yeah, what's up, dude? Um, have you seen church? No, I'm looking for the red guys. Looks like they fixed one of the jeeps and took off. Oh. Well, that's not good. Maybe church went with him. Maybe they took him. I don't know, dude. Oh, I would say that. I don't think that would happen. What? How the fuck would you know? Because if he was gone, I think some people who have been looking for him might be really mad that he's not here and we might have to explain to those people why he's not here and those people might not like our explanation and those people might hurt us with plasma guns and plasma grenades. Oh, right. I beat the aliens. Yeah, I figured that out. Maroon 1! Maroon 1! Where are you? Great. This guy. Freeze! Stay where you are. Turn around. 
Well, well. If it isn't our good buddy, Agent Washington. And just what are you doing here? Don't play dumb with me, Sarge. I think you know why I'm here. Where are the rest of your guys? Where's Epsilon? Someplace safe. You can either tell me, or you can tell the Meta back at the base. The Meta is here? Yes. And he really wants a chance to repay you guys for all the trouble you caused him. I seem to recall you caused him some of that trouble yourself. Situation's changed. Now drop your weapons. Just so you know, I'm gonna want that back in a minute. I said, drop your weapons. All my weapons? Yes. You sure? Maybe I can just keep the pistol. You know, these things aren't quite as effective as they used to be. Drop it. Now. Well, that's what people say. Good. Now march. Son, you can insult me. You can ambush me. You can even take away my weapons. But if you think I'm gonna sit one single pinky toe inside a blue base without my shotgun, you must not know who you're dealing with. I said move. And I said shotgun. Yes. I have your shotgun. No. I mean, shotgun. What is this? You think I'm going to give you your shotgun because you asked? I said shotgun. Shotgun, damn it. Oh, yeah, shotgun. That's what's you. What? Wait. What are you up to? What is that noise? Do I hear a... they came this way. <laughs> okay, now's our chance, Doc. Hit him with an overcharge. It should overload at least one of his systems. Um, you do it. What? Me? I don't even know how to fire that thing. Just pull the trigger and let go. It's super easy. No, no, no. You're trained with it. You should do it. Go. What if I miss? What if it doesn't do anything but make him mad? I already made it mad once, and that didn't really work out very well. No, no, well, well, then just, we'll improvise. Yeah, I don't feel entirely comfortable with that answer. What the heck was that? Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling that someone just caused them trouble. Yeah. Oh no! Improvise! Improvise! Am I dead? Am I dead? Doc! You did it! It's frozen! No! It looks like you overloaded his time distortion unit! You must have caused some kind of inversion! Instead of making everything else slow, it made him slow! Oh, yeah! Score one for the pacifist! How you like me now, Meta? Um, Doc, I wouldn't get too close to him if I were you. Why? What's he gonna do? Beat me up over the course of the next two weeks? Well, technically, he's not actually moving slower. He's moving at the same speed, just over a longer period of time. Huh? It's relativistic. His fist still travels at the same velocity. We just view it from a faster time frame. Therefore, it looks slowed down, but theoretically, it should still carry the same force. Nah, see? It's moving slower! See? That's what you get for arguing with science, stupid bitch. Simmons! Get me out of this wall! Hmm. I'm gonna do this. The fuck? You're not Jesus. pulling from my center! I'm the center! What the fuck is the center? Get down and pull from the groin! Look, stop pointing on my head! Hey! It feels like you're saving your strength. Don't save your strength! Hurry, Simmons! I think that big guy is speeding back up! Oh shit! Um. Simmons! Where are you? Come out here! I'm here! Hold on just a second! Doc, it looks like I can't get you out. Yes, you can! You you can! You haven't really tried yet! I know, you're right. I should think about the mission. What? No! No, 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 this is a rescue mission! I'm part of the mission! It's a noble sacrifice you're making here. No, no! I'm not sacrificing! I'm not noble at all! Listen to me! You don't want to go! I don't want you to go! I don't want you to go! Well, I was remembering! Wait! Start by remembering me right now! Simmons! Hurry it up! Get in already! This isn't on purpose! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Guys, guys, just slow down the whole thing! What do you say? Oh, 
driving. That was flying and burning. Touche. What happened? Where am I? Get ready, man. Remember, he can't kill all of us. Why can't he kill all of us? Hmm. That is a good point. What? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, get ready. This is not going to be good. Hey, guys, what's going on? Man, your Jeep got fucked up. Who's the big dude? Sup, Gigantor? Whoa! You kiss your mother with that mouth? What are you doing here? Who cares? Just lead him out of here! Hey, whoa! Where? Anywhere that's not here! Hey, come on, big boy! Follow me! Look how shiny I am! Woohoo! Come on! What the fuck was that floating thing? We'll explain later! Run! Come on, big boy! Come this way! Wait a minute. I know this place. Hello? Somebody in there? Oh shit, you scared the crap out of me! Quick! Everyone through the hole! <laughs> Just saying that making me miss Donut! What are we gonna do? We can't outrun them and our jeep is destroyed! We have to seal the opening! Do we have any grenades? Negative! We need a plan of action! Hey, I know he's a friend of yours, but I gotta tell you, that guy with the shiny head is kind of an asshole. Well, if you're here, then where's the- Oh no, there's the meta! Come on, we have to hurry! I have an idea. Hey, you! Dipshit! You talking to me? Yeah, you. This is all your fault, you stupid piece of junk. You got us in this mess. Me? It was your friend we had to rescue. Ah, bullshit. Now the Meta's coming up here and he's gonna kill all of us, starting with you. What are you doing? I wasn't even looking for you guys. I was trying to find- Oh, I get it. Get it, you overgrown ornament? Oh, now you wanna start? Hey, I'm not done with you yet, ball bearing. That's rude. Your mother takes it in the exhaust port. Come on, Simmons, help us. I don't even know what you're doing. Your mother gets paddled like a pinball. Hey. Let's leave mothers out of this. We're trying to increase the stress level. We need some insults. Um, okay. Griff, you're so fat you broke your arm and gravy came out. Sarge, I find a lot of your tactical decisions to be questionable, if not downright mediocre. Not insults for us, Simmons, for him! I don't understand the rules of your stupid game I just got here! Nah, you guys are idiots. This isn't working. We need something to make him mad. Really mad. Has he seen the last episode of The Sopranos yet? Uh-oh, look out! It's the big guy! And there's... Get them, Meta! Get them! Washington! What? No! Open it up! Open it up! I have to go back! Go back? Son, are you crazy? After what we just went through to get out of there? No! He'll find her! Don't you understand? I can't let them get to her. Oh. Wow. I guess he ran out of juice. He's had a hard day. Let him sleep it off. Load him up, let's hit the road. So, what is this thing, like some kind of pet? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Come on, I'll fill you in. Don't worry. We'll find them again. We just need some leads. And I know exactly who to ask. Hey, guys! A little help here? Hello? Assholes. Get away! Bad head! Shoo, alien, shoo! Rolled up newspaper! Maybe you should have thought about that before you lost their all-powerful deity. I didn't lose him. He left. Or maybe he lost himself. Or maybe the Reds took him. I don't know. Stop that. Well, until the Reds come back, they need somebody to blame. It's better you than me, man. Tucker, help me. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't really want to get in between an angry mob and their religious iconography. And I should know. I used to date an Italian girl. But he's not really a god. That's all made up. You know that. Oh, dude, I don't know shit. That sounds like straight-up blasphemy. Are you guys going to put up with this shit? I know, dude, that's what I'm saying. Took the blog right out of my mouth. Tucker! They're going to eat me! Kabo, shut the fuck up! They're not going to eat you! They're just going to persecute you and kill you! Stop being such a baby! Look! The Reds! They're back! And they need to have your worshipy guy! What? Sarge? Hey, Blue, we're back! Got Simmons, too! Where's the water can? Oh, also, you got any more spear jeeps right here? I don't want to get into it, but we've identified a technical weakness in the hood of the current models. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Killing a boost? That's cool. There he is! He is the one who took church! Get him. How's Floating McGee? Eh, yeah, you know, same old. Still not working. Is he dead? How the fuck would I know? And even if he was, would it make a difference with this guy? Eh, probably not. Now he's got sand all in his ports. How am I supposed to fix him in an environment like this? Sounds like you have sand in your ports. Why do we even come here? It's a fucking desert. I don't know. This is where we were before we came to get you. And where else can we go anyway? There's bad guys at our base, and Sarge never wants us to get far from the blues. I don't know if you've noticed this, Simmons, 
but he's a little obsessed. He still wants to get him back in the database so we can kill him. How's that going, by the way? Any progress? Progress? It's your project. I was held captive. Whatever, dude. If Sarge takes that as an excuse for not getting work done, let me know. I'll get captured all the time. Nope. They're right around this corner up here. Griff and Simmons, right up here, where we're walking. Uh-oh, here he comes. You're about to get busted. And you'll see when we get around this corner up here, we don't have any kind of floating device. No balls or spheres or anything. Who's he talking to? You'll see, big group of aliens. We don't have anything like that at all. What? Uh-oh. What? Where am I? Shh, dude, shut up. Be quiet. No, what? shut your hole. What's happening? How did I get oh, here? Oh, shit. Uh, the, the... Don't do it, you fucker. What the... What are you doing? Shut up, man. Be cool. Be cool? Whoa! Uh, I mean, what's the 411, daddy-o's? Me and my homie were just hanging all up in here. Deserts, Bill. It's all good. You know what I'm saying, Skrillas? What the fuck are you doing? You told me to be cool. Right. So what the fuck are you doing? As you can see, we don't have your stupid roly baloney. It's just this yellow guy and MC Fonzarella over here. Whatevs, y'all. You don't know me. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. See, I knew they would have it. Uh, I don't see him. Oh my god, he's invisible. All right, Reds, what did you do with... Fuck it, quadruple time. It. Damn it, I should have seen that coming. Well, Caboose, I guess we're on our... Oh, damn it. Revenge. All right, now I'll just go get up on top of the pillar. Uh-oh. Griff, what are you stopping for, huh, nuts? What? There he is. Oh, no. He landed in the middle of the... Uh, of the... of the there. The... Uh, the over there. So, let's get him. Yeah. Tell you what, Simmons. Why don't you go get him? We'll secure the area here while you retrieve. Okay, I don't have time for this. Ow! You knew, didn't you? Yeah, kinda. Alright, Doc. I want to ask you a few questions. Where'd the red guys go? Did they get away? Quiet. I'm asking you the questions. You're not asking me. What kind of questions? Hey, I just said no questions. Can I ask questions later? Doc! What? Oh, that's a question. Sorry. Go ahead. You know what? Get him out of there. I can't talk to him like this. What are you... Stop it! What? Well, yeah, try pulling harder then. Be gentle, be gentle. Grab lower, near the center of gravity. Hold hands. Try the cod piece. Oh, we're all adults here. No, I don't want to try. Don't repress your feelings. I can't interrogate him like this. It's ridiculous. I can't believe I have to deal with this. What are we gonna do? Might work. <laughs> Seems like all the kicking and blowing up put some life back in the little guy. That's adorable. Why are all those blue parts green? I don't know. Caboose, is that you? Delta? Caboose, I need you to listen. My time is brief. Epsilon is not in control right now, but he will be again shortly. Great. Perhaps not. The encounter with Agent Washington has jarred loose many of his memories. Epsilon has not, historically, coped with these memories well. What does that mean? We fear he may pursue certain memories in particular. Who is we? Myself and the other memories of the Alpha Fragments. What the fuck is that? Who the fuck are you, and what the fuck is happening? Epsilon may not yet be aware of our presence, but eventually he will be. We cannot hide forever. It is likely at this point he will begin the cycle again. That must not happen. What cycle? <gasps> A motorcycle? A secret motorcycle? It's okay, you can tell me. He's begun to search his memories now. He's clearly looking for something. Well, you always did say memory is the key. Memory is the key, Caboose. But not everything that is locked is meant to be unlocked. He is coming back now. I must leave before he discovers me. But if he beats you in there, then you could be friends. They're not best friends. But, you know, because that job's taken. But, you know, maybe acquaintances. If only I were the memory that he's looking for. What? Uh, oh. Hey. I must have, uh, I must have passed out. Sorry about that. Church, you're back! Yeah, I am. Hey, Caboose, come over here, would you? I need to talk to you about something. Okay, where are we going? Hey, guys, do you ever notice Blue Team has, like, a lot more stuff going on than us? Yeah, boring stuff. Nerdy stuff. 
Yeah, but I mean, all we ever talk about is food and guns. That reminds me. I'm hungry. Stop complaining or I'll shoot you in the head. <sighs> Good times. Stay away! Don't touch me! Hey, uh, Caboose, you were the one who moved me from the Epsilon unit to this new body, right? Oh, yeah. I'm really good at ergonomics. Uh, do you mean electronics? Yeah, probably. Okay, good. Then I need you to come with me. I just remembered something. Something that could help me. Sure. You don't want to know the details? Nope. Could be dangerous. Yeah, I have armor. It's blue. All right, well, let's go then. I actually thought it would take longer to convince you. Come on. I want to get to the facility before nightfall. Ah, uh, you want to break the Epsilon unit? Is it necessary to do your thing? Don't think so. Then who cares? Leave it. Where we're going, we won't need it. Um, are you sure this is a good idea? Oh, All right, no. give it a crank. More power, come on, give it some gas. Almost there, just a little more. Well, that's just great. Come on, can't you get him out of there? He's just stuck in a few rocks. Why can't anything ever be easy? Doc, I want you to tell me everything you know about the reds and blues. You know more than me! I just got here! Hit him. Oh! You worked with them before. Do they have any hideouts anywhere they go when they're in trouble? I don't know! Hit him again. Oh! Did Simmons say where Sergeant Griff were? You can either answer me, or I can have the meta beat it out of you. Or, I can beat it out of you. I think I've earned it. Man, you guys are really awful at the good cop, bad cop thing. You're like, bad cop, even worse cop. Tell you what, meta. Let's just shoot him in the chest, see if we can pull the audio logs out of his helmet. Uh, uh, he said something about a distress call. Hit him again. And sand! He, he mentioned sand! Sand. All right, well, let's go then. I actually thought it would take longer to convince you. Come on. I want to get to the facility before nightfall. Facility, eh? I knew the blues were up to something. Come on, man, let's get after those blues! Sounds like this is the big opportunity we've been waiting for. You mean our opportunity to find a place to hole up until this all blows over? Some place that isn't a desert? No! A place to finally restore the blues to Command's database! Get your typing fingers ready, Simmons! <sighs> okay, I'll bring my carpal tunnel braces. If we're going to follow them, we'll need a vehicle. Well, I'm sure we can grab another one from the camp down there. Why do we need a vehicle? The blues are walking. I'm sure we can keep up with them on foot. On foot? Uh, Simmons, we're the Reds. We don't walk anywhere. We travel as the good Lord intended, in the largest possible vehicle with the maximum horsepower allowed by local law enforcement. And if there's no cars available, we find the biggest, nastiest, meanest land animal we possibly can, beat the crap out of it, and settle that puppy up. On foot. Shame on you, Simmons. Shame on you. Sorry. Let's just forget you ever mentioned it. I think this should go on his permanent record. Oh, just go get the fucking Jeep, jackass. Where are you guys going? Wait! Ah, damn it! Hey guys, listen. I know you want your super cool piece of technology back. Those guys just took off. Probably to look for it. If you let me go, I can track it down for you and bring it back. No? Okay then, forget it. Oh my god, look! A next-gen smartphone! Did I ever just leave that land around? Huh? Fooled by the old prototype trick. Classic. Well, see you bitches, I'm out of here! What the? Not a gas! Hey, uh, you guys have any gas? You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna run. Alright, I think this is it. Yes? This doesn't look like anything. Yeah, it's not supposed to, that's kind of the idea. Come on, this way. Man, you really need to clean this place up. Caboose! Coming! Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. It's this way. Am I this way or you're this way? There is no... It's the same this way. Okay, yeah. This is it. I think. It's a wall. We came all this way for a wall? Caboose! Sorry. It's a really great wall. Hello. This is a private facility. Visitors are not welcome. Please leave immediately, 
or we will be forced to take lethal measures to ensure the safety of our property. That is great. You have 30 seconds to comply or die. Have a nice day. Sheila? Is that you? No. I am the Freelancer Integrated Logistics and Security System. You may call me Phyllis. It is a pleasure to meet you. You now have 15 seconds to live. Whoa. Dying sounds like a bad idea. Maybe we should leave. Oh my, the director. I am so sorry. I did not recognize you, sir. It has been such a long time since you have visited. You look very different. Talking to me? Yes. You are the director of Project Freelancer, are you not? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, that's totally me. I just haven't been around because I've been doing, you know, director stuff. Can't really get into it. Secret project. How may I assist you today? Can we, uh... Can we come in? Certainly. Please watch your step. Kinda spooky in there. Yeah. Why don't you go first? Me? Well, I mean, you're the one with the gun and everything. Yeah, but the tree seemed like you best. Oh, uh, hey, Sheila, could you... Are you speaking to me? We're just kind of used to calling you by that name. Um, maybe you should just answer him when he calls you that. Probably easier for you to change than it is for him. He's kind of dumb. All right. I will respond to that name as well. You are the director, after all. Right. I am. Please watch your step. Director, since you have a new visitor with you today, would you like me to run the tutorial program? Yes, always run that. No, seriously, you need to run that. No, it's really, you need to, you need to turn that. Yeah, okay, shut up, dude. Yes, please run the tutorial program. Oh, thank God. Hello, and welcome to the Freelancer Offsite Storage Facility. Project Freelancer is a state-of-the-art scientific endeavor with one goal in mind, to ensure the security of humanity in a harsh and violent galaxy. This bunker has been constructed to guarantee the continued operations of our program in the event of a primary facility loss. This storage area archives all the components of our freelancer simulation bases. These outposts test our agents in realistic training scenarios. Yeah, we're on the blue team! I am sorry, I do not recognize that term. Our simulation outposts are categorized into red and entry, missing. Hmm, it seems as though I have a corrupted database. I will correct that when I have more time. Uh, uh, there's our old stuff. There's a teleporter. Eh, Tucker hates those. Don't interrupt. When the equipment is not being Come on. used, it this is way. stored here until it can be repurposed for... Oh, I guess we are moving on. What's this? I am sorry. This area is restricted. Only the director himself may access the sentry. I am sure you understand. The nature of our experiments is such that... Open it. Excuse me, director? I want you to open it. Are you certain, director? You never bring visitors into this. I said, open it. All right. Unlocking. Would you like me to archive your... personal project? No. Let's see everything. If you say so, Director. Grimmins, what's the status report? Gumball McJones and Caboose just went into that door. What door? All I see is a wall. It's a secret door? Simmons, what did I tell you about using Dungeons and Dragons references in combat situations? <sighs> Sorry, sir. It's a concealed door. That's better. How did they open it? They talked to that computer. They got it to open the door by posing as members of Project Freelancer. If we pose as agents, it'll probably let us in too. Aren't agents like tough and good at things? We all just pick a state name and call ourselves by that. You know, like Agent Washington. Griff, name a state. What is this, a pop quiz? Uh, let's see, uh, uh, Manhattan. No? Uh, Europe. Wow, really? Pacific Ocean? Stop guessing. Just be Agent Alaska. How about you, Sarge? I'll be Secret Agent Double Ohio! License to be tall in the middle, and round on both ends. And I'll be Agent Denial. You get it? Because I state of denial, like the saying, you know? It's like, uh, I was, you know, 
the whole state state thing, you know, it's a joke. No, dude. Jokes are funny. <sighs> Let's just go. The recovery beacon leads here. It's weak, but I can still pick it up. Here. Meta, dig. Hey, I'm not going to argue with you about this. You want a chance at that AI? I track, you dig. Otherwise, you can wander the desert by yourself and see if you find him on your own. Because I found this signal. You dig. We all have to pull our own weight. Right. And other people's weight, too. Just dig. Man, some people just can't take orders. Am I right? Shut up. We're not friends. Can I at least get a drink of water? Shut up. I already asked you if you were thirsty before we left. Yeah, we're in the desert! Thirsty should be assumed! You can drink later. Yeah, this might be a bad time to tell you that I'm sinking, then. I hate you. I know. Hey, what are you, what are you guys doing over there? What the? Is that CT? That's impossible. What's she doing out here? What are you looking at? Don't bother. She didn't get an AI, remember? Down in front! Scavenger for equipment. See what you can... <laughs> ...find. Well, this is just fucking great. Oh my god! Look at all the yous! You're everywhere! Why is it I got this red star? Hey, this is the greatest store ever! You can have your body back! Uh, which one do you want? I'm gonna buy one. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for this. Oh. Alright, Meta, get ready. Fire! Huh, well, that actually seemed to work. Doc, how do you feel? Uh, okay, I guess, all things considered. Hey, does anybody know where we can find a good medic? I don't get paid enough for this. Jeez, tough room. I told you that stupid plan wouldn't work. That's because you said your name was Agent Pluto! <laughs> Luckily, we have the old contingency plan to fall back on! Sarge, shotgun to the face is not a contingency plan. I keep telling you that. This is a private facility. Hello. This is a private facility. Don't be so quick to judge, Griff. Shotgun in the face can be applied in a variety of tough situations. For instance, watch how quickly it cures insubordination. I know. What was that? It came from down here. Come on. I don't like this. Look, I talked to them. They're going to draw us a map and show us where Epsilon went. After that, you can let me go. You sure that's what he's doing? Well, my alien to English is a little rusty. I would suggest we get one of those translator balls, but we got enough jerks around here already. I agree. We should just kill most of them. The last one left alive will talk. Wash, you just can't kill everybody you meet. Why not? Uh, well, now you're putting me on the spot. I don't really have an answer for that. Just seems like a bad idea, though. Karma? <laughs> hey, he's done drawing the map. It says peace talks have broken down. Now we do it our way. Whoa! Just hold still. No, no, no. I sense things are not going well. Yes, please just keep the door shut. Thank you, that's fine. I am sorry, but if the director requests the door to be opened, I am required to comply. Just keep the door shut. Caboose, is that you? Stop! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Ugh. Oh! Oh, hello, everyone! Stop! Yes! Everyone who wasn't here before is now here now. Hello. What are you up to, Blue? Me? Oh, nothing. I'm not hiding anything behind this door. Uh, I wouldn't pick that up. It looks expensive. Uh, I think he's lying. What was your first clue? Let us see what's in there. In here? Oh, nothing is in here. Uh, well, this probably isn't even a door either. It's probably... What the heck was that? Oh, that was me. Uh, I said... 
said this isn't a door. I said it's a gong. A gong? What the hell is a... A gong. I'm just going to walk over this way now. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Pardon me. Coming through. Yes, excuse me. Yes, pardon me. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Pardon me. Coming through. Yes, excuse me. Yes, pardon me. Um, Sarge? What's the plan here? Ben, we have a perfect ambush scenario. I agree. Unless, wait. Are we the ambushers or the ambushies? Hey, can you ambush something that's trying to beat its way through metal plating to get to you? Okay! First, we just wait for the door to open. Door's open. What the... off one by one! Right now! What holds up that crate? 
Mechanical controls are on the left side of the console. I can't believe that worked! Oh fuck, that didn't work! I knew that would not work. Agent Tex is a bit of a badass. <laughs> Be crushed. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Squish! Uh -oh. Ow! Be more crushed. Oh, fuck berries. Tex, can you put... Oh! All right, you know what? That's it. Come here. Oh, thank God. Thought I was a gunner. Sarge, where are you? What happened? I feel defeated. It inexplicably rejuvenated. Squish! Fuck! Squish! Oh, damn it! God damn it! Stop! Oh, come on! You pick on somebody your own size. Ow! 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 What? Stop it! Tex, you are embarrassing me! Ow! Stop! Ow! Hey, are you gonna get out? Are you gonna help me or not? Stop it! No, buddy, I think you got everything under control. We'll just hang what? back here. Stop. Yeah, you've got some catching up to do. Hey, what's she beating him with? I think that was his old body. You mean there ain't a floating cue ball anymore? That's too bad. Had a few more nicknames in my side pocket. We'll certainly miss you, Lord Hackensack of the Round of Lots. Beating him with his own body? That doesn't seem physically possible. Uh, we have to do something. I am sorry. As I said, I cannot operate outside the bounds of my standard safety protocols. What if I said... Pretty please. Private Caboose, is there a reason why you don't want to use one of the standard safety protocols? In this scenario, I would strongly recommend locking down the armor of any rogue units. Wait, you could do that? Of course. Armor lock is a standard safety feature since the freelancer break-in. Well, why didn't you tell us that? Why would I need to tell the director that? He wrote the protocol himself. Oh, right. Yes, of course he did. Uh, Sheila, can you do the armor lunchable thing that you said? Certainly. Now initiating standard safety protocol. Armor lockdown in progress. All units stand by for lockdown. What? What's happening? Caboose, what did you do to her? Uh, yes! Yes! I did it! I am the biggest hero ever! I 
beat up the girl. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. See, that's how you do it, Griff. Face your enemy man to man. Or in your case, hopefully an adequate man to woman. And then when she's distracted, use superior technology to take her out. Reminds me of prom night. We didn't do anything. She shut down. I am the best. Uh, hey guys. What do you think that voice meant by all units? I did it! I'm... Not my fault! Not my fault! I did not do that! The computer made the death chase! And the default option was yes! Well, this is just great! What's happening? Caboose! Make it stop! Make it... Ow! Uh, Sheila? Is... Is my armor going to rock out too? No, Caboose. Your helmet does not have that particular protocol installed in it. I had assumed that was the reason why you were wearing that... Yes. That is totally the reason. Well, so much for the leave one of them alive strategy. Doc, where are you? Here! Still alive. I thought maybe you'd been killed in the battle. No, don't worry. I'm still alive. I didn't say I was worried. Get down here. See if any of these things are still breathing. Me? You're a medic. Get... medical. I'm a human medic! I don't even understand alien physiology. I want you to see if they're alive. I, I don't want you to check their cholesterol levels. Just get down here. Jeez, fine. What's with the anger? Meta, you search the camp. See if you can find anything useful for us. Any clues where Epsilon went. Don't start with me. I've already reached my tolerance level for management issues. He's getting fussy. Tell me about it. Maybe we should take a break. Excuse me? A break? Yeah, like a three-day leave. Everyone go off, recharge their mental batteries, come back refreshed and, like, ready to tackle our challenges. You want a vacation? I call it a soul sabbatical. What are we, mailmen? This is a military mission. We don't get a vacation. We don't take sick days. We don't get paid overtime. What? Freelancers don't get overtime? That's right. We have a job to do, and we're expected to stick with... Wait. Why? Do you? Get overtime? Yeah. Time and a half over 40 hours. Time and a half and a half after 60. Really? You guys don't get that? That's crazy. You work so hard. Tell me about it. You guys should strike. We're not unionizing. Stop instigating. Tell me they at least match your 401k. Shut up. What was that? Quiet. What did you find, Meta? Hey! Watch it! Meta, come out here now! Doc, get in there and see what he found. Which doc? Is there another doc here? I know you're not talking to me. Yeah, you know, probably better if you go in. Historically, I don't really have the best success rate going in caves. They tend not to work out for me. Before your time, but trust me. I, I, you don't want any part of that. What happened? Where am I? Safety protocols were initiated. Please remain calm. Sheila, is that you? Yes. What is this place? Your operator has been injured or incapacitated, and you are now in recovery mode. You will remain in this state until such time as you can be extracted by a recovery agent or your operator regains consciousness. Wait, you didn't send a recovery beacon, did you? Because that would be really... Recovery beacons only arm once a unit leaves the facility. This unit has yet to leave the facility. Therefore, we must first... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Is that Tex? Affirmative. Technically, she is not present in this environment, but if you would like to speak to her, I can relay communication through external channels. Yes, please. I am sorry, but she has refused the connection. She should not be able to do that. Yeah, that's not surprising. Can you force it through? I can try, but I would not recommend that action. Because of my damager? No. I have just learned that when a woman wants to be alone, it is best to leave her alone. Eh, good call. Hey, get me out of this, but, uh, leave her in here until I figure out what to do with her. Suit yourself. Uh, she didn't hear that, did she? Unclear. I thought you weren't relaying my messages. Recovery mode disabled. You women always stick together. Oh man, I hope she didn't hear that. 
Are you going in or not? Oh, do I have a choice? Then not. I'm gonna go with that one. Meta, get out here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick with not. That seemed like the best one of those two choices that you gave me. Get in there. Tell you what, put me back in the wall. I like the wall. It was cozy and it protected me. I miss my wall. You are utterly useless. I know we brought you along for a reason, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. The important thing is we're becoming friends. They say the bonds of men in combat are as strong as brotherhood. Meta, get out here. Please. Boy, he sounds tense. Maybe you should give him a back rub. That wouldn't be weird, right? One freelancer giving another a back rub? Aren't you trained in stress management or something? Calm him down. That only works if the person wants to be calm. I don't think he qualifies. Listen, Meta. Whatever you found, we can deal with it. I promise. Just come out here and show me what it is. Whoa! Thanks, funky butt loving. Oh. You found... that. Oh, God, that sucked! What was all that glowing shit? Sheila put us in lockdown to save us. She knocked us out to help us? That makes sense. Hey, at least we're not getting our asses kicked, okay? That's an improvement. Yeah, that's a good point. Can't argue with results. Sheila, can they, uh, can they hear me? Affirmative. d d We heard her, dipshit! I know! I just want to use the microphone! It makes me sound super loud! I am not sure you can tell! Hey, where'd you get the new body? Long story, dude. I'll tell you later. Eh, I know I asked, but I don't really give a shit, Church. Attention, freelancer shoppers! We have a special on selfish team guys in our village! Sheila, please mute him. Affirmative. This is Michael Jacobus! Ah, oh, man! Sergeant, where are we? Ben, I have bad news for all of us. We're dead. Which in the case of Griff is good news for me. But still, bad news overall. Dead? I can't be dead. I still have so much to do. Uh, like what? Like everything that doesn't involve a computer. Man, it's been a real one-track life for me. So this is the afterlife, huh? Not bad. It's kind of grainy. Overall, I can't complain. This is just a stage before we move on. Like Purgatory. Ooh, or like the last episode of Lost. Hey, I haven't seen that yet. No spoilers. That show was on hundreds of years ago. No, 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 no. Don't say anything else. Give me a break. Well, now I'm going to sleep. See you losers in 14 hours. Grim, no napping. Sorry, Sarge, but you always said I could sleep when I was dead. Hey, guess what? I am dead. So this Purgatory is about to become Purgasnory. Yawn. Griff! Hey, Red! Can you hear me? Who in the same heaven is that? Is that God? Hey, Almighty Cannon! Some of us are trying to get a little shut up! No blasphemy! What do you want, God? Take Griff! He's been terrible! I mean, great! It's not God, dude! It's a church! He just thinks he's God! This is just what you need. More people worshipping you. Yeah! Hey, listen! We want to let you out, but we don't want you to attack us or attack Tex, okay? Attack Tex? She attacked us! Fuck you guys. I would never hurt a girl! Just agree and we'll let you out. Uh, fine. Whatever. Burf, burkin' your daddy Herman Burbert! I'm gonna assume that last one was a yes. Alright, let him out, Sheila! Affirmative. Ending recovery mode. Red unit. Ah, uh, my neck was killing me. Hello, everyone. Now that we have our own YouTube channel, I've taken the liberty of reorganizing everything for a streamlined viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. Get excited. It's empty. What is it? This is the Epsilon unit. This is what you've been looking for? Yes. Not what I was expecting. I mean, I like the color, but other than that, meh. Clearly they transferred Epsilon into that floating thing we saw. You saw a floating thing? Yes, like a metal eye. It shot a laser at us. Yeah, okay. Hey, Wash, this sun is really hot. Maybe we should find you some shade. I'm not hallucinating. Meta saw it too. Oh yes, you did. Don't even try that. Wash, do you see the floating eyeball now? Is he here with us? Don't psychoanalyze me. I'd like to talk to the laser eye for a minute, Wash. Shut up. Meta, let's convert this to a recovery unit. But be careful, this thing looks like it's in bad shape. What's he 
you doing? This is a storage unit, but we're trained to modify them. We can change a storage unit into a capture unit. That way, the next time we see Epsilon, he won't get away. Are you talking about the regular Epsilon, or the Epsilon who's just a floating head and visits you when you're alone? I'm not crazy. And it was just the eye that was floating around, not a whole head. Yes, Wash. Because the whole head is what makes it crazy. I'm waking her up. No way, buddy. You must have missed the smash fest we just went through. I ain't repeating that. Hey, we made a deal. I unlock you, you have to help me with her. Hey, now hold on a second. This affects the entire group. I say we put it to a vote. All those in favor of waking her up and letting her kill us, say aye. Aye. Caboose? Present. No, we're not doing that. Just say aye. You. Oops, I made me. No. I. Church. Just say I. Oh, I get it. Right. Sorry. My left eye or my right eye. He votes yes. I would also like it noted I was present. Okay. And everyone in favor of not doing that thing and leaving her asleep and not getting killed by the person we're not going to wake up because nobody is that stupid. Say nay. That was like a quadruple negative. Just vote. Nay. I didn't even understand the question. So I'm just going to say blueberry. Fuck it. Veto. She comes out. So, Sheila, is there any way to turn her only, you know, partway back on? No. I am sorry. I can either leave her in lock or take her out of lock. There is no in-between. So she's either completely asleep or full-on bitch. Sounds like my ex-wife. You are married? Oh, gross. I hope not. Well, we have to do something. Why do people always say that? We have to do something. We don't have to do anything. Let's just let sleeping maniacs lie. Here, let me try this. Tex? Tex? Hello? Can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? The guys just want to make sure you're not going to, you know, beat the living shit out of them if we wake you up. Aww, what are they going to do? Cry? What's wrong with you? Why did you go nuts when we woke you up? Last time I was in a place like this, I was trying to get out as fast as I could. Yeah, I remember. They just got in my way. It's not my fault they can't fight. Okay, so is that I won't beat the living shit out of them anymore? We'll see. I guess that'll have to do. But I am gonna deck that one with the sword for making that stupid ex-wife crack. Alright, that seems fair. So, we're cool? Well, I'm cool. Nice to have you back, Tex. Always a pleasure. Hey, I didn't ask to come back. Uh, apparently, somebody decided they couldn't live without me. I thought you would be happy. You know, being alive is typically better than being dead. Yeah. Everybody always seems to know what's best for Tex. So this is it? You're just going to be abrasive right out of the gate? Not even a thank you? Oh, I see. We're going to make this about you for a change. How refreshing. All right. I'm going to go now. Nice talking to you. Yeah, see ya. What did she say? Okay. I think we got it all worked out. She cool? As cool as she ever was. That does not inspire confidence in me. Wake her up, Sheila. Affirmative. Back up, back up. Ending recovery mode. All here. <sighs> uh... How are you feeling? Ow! Better now. What the fuck? Oh, right. I forgot to mention one thing. Great. He's done. Why is it sparking like that? This thing's been through a lot. It's pretty badly damaged. But now that it's a capture unit, we just need to get it near Epsilon, and we can pull him in. What if it breaks? Don't worry. It'll hold until we get him. After that, it doesn't matter. It can short out for all I care. Then what's the point of all this? I just have to deliver Epsilon to the chairman. I don't have to guarantee what condition I deliver him in. He's just evidence anyway. Meta, grab him. Doc, get ready to move. Move? Move where? We don't know where they are. We know they're not here. So gather your gear and get ready to move out. Well, can we track them? Track them? You know, pick up a trail, like footprints. Footprints. In the desert. <laughs> Don't special agents have the ability to track their targets through any kind of terrain? Follow broken tree branches? Tree branches. In the desert. Okay, these are bad examples. Maybe heat signatures. In the desert. Like exhaust trails? I don't know. Tell you what. Why don't you just stick to not understanding medicine? Don't feel the need to expand your sphere of ignorance. Fine! Jeez, I'm just trying to help! Him? Uh, he's always whining about something. Hey, Meta. Is there any way we could track the Reds by trying to pick up a trail, like a uh, heat signature or something? Yes. I know we're in the desert. 
So you back to 100% yet? Yeah. And whatever I didn't learn from Caboose, I've been able to pick up from the rest of the guys. Didn't take long. Yeah, we really don't seem to do much. Maybe you should get a hobby. Like knitting. We'll look into it. Hey, how did you know how to bring me back? Honestly, I didn't have much choice. I couldn't get you out of my head, so I kind of had to get you out of my head. Wow. How emo. Maybe you can blog about it. Hey, you asked. When I was beating the hell out of the Reds, the alarm said it was level alpha. Do you know why? You know, I didn't think about that, no. Then I want you to have Sheila give me access to the files here. Why? Because I'm going to figure out exactly what they did to me here. I need to know who I am. I know who you are. You're my girlfriend. Well, that's probably the most underwhelming description of all time. Hey, lots of ladies would be happy to be my girlfriend. What other women do you even know? Um, uh, well, there's, uh, uh, that's, uh, oh, Griff had a sister. She seemed to like me. I wouldn't be too proud of that. She was pretty easy. How do you know she was easy, Tex? You know what? Never mind. Don't tell me. It's better in my head. Where did you even come from? I'm always close by. Hey, can I kill him? You can hurt him. Kill him later. Hmm. That actually sounds more fun. Man, I thought the old church was whipped, but you're really taking it to a whole new level. Why do you even put up with him? It's not so bad. I mean, I admit, sometimes it gets pretty hard, and I really don't know how to handle it. And now I'm back. Come on, let's get in there. Simmons, this is our chance. Get to the computer and start entering the blues back in the database. Yes, sir. Come on, Griff, I need your help. My help? With the computer? Simmons, you must have me confused with someone who can help you with the computer. Kinda lost your train of thought on that one. Yeah, a little bit. Fooling the blues is one thing. If I'm entering all these names and records, I need someone to hold up the papers for me. Uh, sorry dude, paper holder's not in my job description. No, but I'm gonna be working in the personnel files so I can add it to your job description. In fact, I can make your job whatever I want. How does Chief Executive Butt Taster sound? You can't do that. I can't? I thought you didn't understand how computers work. In fact, while I'm in there, why don't I just make you a woman? It's just a checkbox, and we could always use a little more diversity in our team. I know Tucker will be happy. <laughs> make me a woman. Yeah, right. Like changing a form would actually turn me into a woman. I mean, that's just... How stupid does he think... I, I, I better go help him. Good call, numbnuts. That's great. You picked up a trail? Really? Hi, guys. What's up? Oh, uh, Meta here was able to pick up a faint trail of the reds based on gas spectrometry and, uh, um, resident heat signatures. What? I thought you said you couldn't do that. I didn't say we couldn't do that. I said you were an idiot. Those are two different discussions. I want credit for the idea. Doc, just let us do our job. You do your job. Anything medical to report? No, the dead aliens are still dead. Also still aliens, but that's less significant. Wonderful. Yeah, one other thing. You know that Stockholm Syndrome where prisoners start to like and identify with their captors after being held hostage for long enough? What about it? No one has that yet. The feeling is mutual. And these are accurate. All of them. As far as I can tell. How's it going in here? Well, I'm helping her access all this data, and she's not constantly pounding me in the face, so I would say that's good. Well, it's a start at least. Hey, come over here. Take a look at these. Sheila's giving us a hard time, but we're getting through. She only seems to want to listen to you. Sheila keeps calling me director. Maybe that has something to do with it. The director? There's almost no information on him. I asked Sheila, but... I am sorry, but access to the director's personnel file is restricted. Yes, Sheila, we know. You don't have to keep repeating it. I am just doing my job. Can't you mute her? Don't even think about it, Buster. Uh, I really don't like it when girls pay direct attention to me. Well, what did you find in the files? Not much. Standard clerical info. Whole bunch of win-loss statistics. Psych profiles. Psych profile? Yeah, they have one on everybody. Except the director and... Let me guess. And you. And us. No church either. Everyone else is in there, though. Full profile. Washington used to wet the bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell the other guys. So, no new info? Wild use chase again? Maybe. Maybe not. Look at this picture. Do you have any idea what this is? What is that? Ice? Yo, oh, yeah. I know that place. That's a, uh, secure location. Like, um, a safe house. Wait, how do I know that? You know it because it's a freelancer base. And it's not far from here. If you already know what it is, why the hell are you asking me? Because I'm not interested in what I know. I'm interested in what you know. What is that? Fucking wisdom? 
Listen, next time you want to ask me a goddamn question, just ask it. Don't beat around the bush. I couldn't take the risk. You might have just told me what I wanted to hear. You are completely fucking whipped. Told you so! I'm gonna go see what weapons they have stored here. Okay. You need any help? Director. Huh? What? Before you leave, would you like to make a journal entry? It has been quite a while since your last update. Journal? Yes. I know you are busy, but you always ask me to remind you when you are falling behind on documentation. Documentation is an important part of any scientific endeavor. Right. Um, hey, why don't you play one of the entries for me? Certainly. The counselor's insistence on referring to Agent Texas as a byproduct continues to frustrate me. We have seen Sheila, Austria I want you to transfer all these files to me. Fragments. Understood. She is certainly Transferring not now. And do me a favor. She's something Delete else the rest. Entirely. Deleting entries. Hmm, what are those blues up to? Probably the same thing they're always up to. Looking at us and going, Hmm, I wonder what those reds are up to. Hey, Griff. Hey, man, what's up? Griff, where's Simmons? He's messing around with some storage boxes, trying to inventory them, see if we need anything. Nerd stuff. That's resourceful. Why aren't you helping him? I am helping him. How are you helping him standing right here? Oh, I'm on break. Fifteen minutes. You're always on break. Hey, if you don't use it, you lose it. Speaking of which, I'm also on Simmons break. You know... I've reached a level where I'm not even disappointed in you. How do you think I feel? I'm spending my break talking about Simmons. <sighs> I'd envisioned so much more. Break's over. Go see what he's up to. Uh, fine. Fine what? Fine, sir. That's more like it. Hey, have you guys seen Tex anywhere? Oh, there you are. Whoa. What's with the new armor? I'm leaving church. What? Where? Can't say. There's some things I need to look into. You're going to that frozen base, aren't you? I need to know more about myself, Church. And I'm not going to find anything out by sitting around on my ass with all of you. Well, let us come with you. You guys? This is a military operation. I need people with military training. We have military training. Um, I need people who understand the military training. Wow, look who's getting picky. <laughs> yeah, beggars can't be choosers. No offense, but you guys just end up slowing me down half the time. Or more than half the time. All the time is more than half the time, right? You know what? Fuck it. Why are we even arguing about this? We don't want to go anyway. Yeah, good luck on your mission to the empty base guarded by tons of real military dudes who are all looking for you anyway. Yeah, hope you find your empty base and your files full of nothing. Well, I'm going and I'm not going to let you stop me. Yeah? Okay. I have a feeling I could use you before this is done. Oh, and when you both get killed again, be sure to let us know. That way we can revive you so that you can run off and get killed. Again. Seriously. It never gets old to us. <laughs> Yo. Very interesting. Sarge wants to know what you're doing over here, dipshit. I added the dipshit. I think I found where the freelancers stored some of their equipment for their armor. Okay, okay, stop. I'll just tell Sarge Simmons is doing something seriously fucking boring. Thanks. The freelancers all had AI and a special power, right? This is the equipment that let them do that. Oh, cool. Like the invisibility and super strength and stuff? Yeah, we can just hook them up to our armor and activate them. And they would work? Well, they need an AI to help them run exactly right. But they have to help in some way. Would they even work when we're... Asleep? I guess so. Why? Wait. You want to turn invisible and take a nap, don't you? Think about it, Simmons. The ability to nap whenever I want, and Sarge could never find me. Invisible nap is the best nap of all time. No man should have that kind of power. I would be completely unstoppable. Actually, you would be the exact opposite of that. Totally stoppable. Already stopped. Think about it, Simmons. I really don't want to. Think about it? No. Are you thinking about it? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Then suit me up. Wow, you took all those guys out at once? Was that really necessary? Yeah, they'll live. No, they won't. Oh, yeah, I see your point. Come on, let's get inside. Okay. Man, those guys got fucked up. What? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Tex, hold on a second! What's wrong? Um, yeah, don't know if I mentioned this before, but I've kind of had psychic visions about this place. Yeah, I thought it was Valhalla at first, but I guess it turns out it was here. Probably should have told you this earlier. Yes, you should have told me this earlier. Well, I'm telling you now. Does that count? Do you think it counts? Nah, probably not. You're not psychic, genius. You're just remembering. You've been here before. We 
we all were. This is where they moved Alpha. After a few of us freelancers went rogue, we compared notes and pieced together what they were doing to him. I convinced them to come back. Break him out. The project moved him here to try to protect him so that they could keep experimenting on him. Whoa! You were in charge of the break-in? I couldn't just let them destroy him. He was being tortured. The director had even started to use some of the other AI against him. Think about that. Turning his own pieces against him? It's sick. Gamma and Omega would fabricate scenarios where he was designed to fail. And they made it seem like his failures were hurting all of the people he cared about. And there was nothing he could do about it. It drove him mad. Broke him down even more. But you came back. You saved him. No, I didn't. It was too late. By the time I got to him, he was already long gone. I don't even think he recognized me. I failed. Only in my case, it really was my fault. Doc, do you have a second? I'm a prisoner, Wash. I have nothing but seconds. Right, good point. I mean, you don't even need to ask. You could just be like, Hey, prisoner number one, come over here and talk to me. Uh, I'm a freelancer. Uh. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you really need to step up your hostage-taking skills. Stop lecturing me, or I will shoot you and feed you to the meta. Does he eat people? Do you really want to find out? No, maybe. If we used another person, sure. That's kind of interesting. Hey, you've spent some time with him now. What's your diagnosis? Of who, the meta? Yes! Pay attention to what's being said. Testy. Based on what you've said, he's just underpowered. He has a bunch of equipment and he can't use it now. That's because he lost all his AI. Wow, if I had all these cool fighting gadgets and I couldn't use them, I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. What happens if he uses them without the help of the computer program? Let's just put it this way. It ain't pretty. All hooked up? Yeah, installation was easy. You ready to turn on? Ready. Now listen, you don't have an AI, so nothing's gonna help you make the calculations you need to use this thing. So just take it easy. I was born to take it easy. Fire it up. Okay, it's on. Do you feel any different? No, kind of energetic. Am I invisible? Huh? Am I? Am I can you see me? Calm down. No, I can still see you. Try jumping. Jump! I jumped. Did that work, Simmons? I can do it again. Please, let me do it again. Want me to jump again? I'll do it right now. I won't even stop. Let me jump, let me jump, let me jump. Why aren't you answering me when I talk with my mouth? Hmm. Walk over there. I have a theory. This one is either super healing or super... <laughs> Speed. Yeah, so the church said I love you forever? Yeah. That didn't happen. Hey, Caboose! Whoa, what the hell was that? What was what? Hey, Griff. That is one fine piece of machinery. Huh. Why am I so angry all of a sudden? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Hey, Griff, slow down, slow down. How? Hey, asshole. Are you dead? Ow, whoa, Simmons, hey, did you see that? Did you see? I saw it, I saw it totally. Did you see it? I hit that wall. Man, that was fast, that was super fast. I'm so fast, God, so fast. Why is it so hot in here? Griff, calm down. I'm calm, I'm totally calm, you be calm. Why would you say to be calm when you know I'm already calm? Isn't it obvious that I'm calm? That doesn't even make any sense. You should make some sense. Why is it so hot in here? What in Sam hell's all the racket? Hey, Sarge, what's up, Sarge? Simmons is doing some experiments and I'm helping him, Sarge. Right now we're doing one where everyone talks slow and the lights are super bright and I can smell clouds and man, is it so hot in here? We installed a speed unit on Griff and it's sort of malfunctioning right now. Well, turn him off! I can't. They run on timers. We're just gonna have to wait it out. How long? How long? What's long? I like long stuff. I knew a giraffe once. I think it was in a book. A giraffe book. The book wasn't long, but the giraffe totally was. Because of the neck, you know? You know what I mean? Do you? Do you? The part that connects the head to the body. I'm gonna go to sleep now. That is not an approved operation. Hey, watch it, buddy. Can you show me the data logs? Affirmative. Simmons, any progress in restoring the blues? It's a lot of data entry, sir. I was thinking I could hack the mainframe and reroute the data stream, Or too. we could just restore from an archive database. What? This is an off-site fallback facility. It is designed to have archives in case of data loss. Blue Team rosters would certainly be a part of that. Really? Yes. In fact, I am glad you pointed out the database anomaly. I had noticed it before, but did not have time to investigate. Strange. Oh. Okay, yeah, restore that then. Done. Great. You seem disappointed. Did I do it too quickly and make you look bad? No. I could always pretend that you hacked me if it would make you look better to your friends. Stop patronizing me. Affirmative. Patronizing subroutines are now offline. You're still patronizing me, aren't you? Kind of. Hmm. What is it, Griff? This is weird. If I'm reading the 
this right, there's a bunch of other red and blue bases. Of course there are, Griff. The war is huge. The fate of the galaxy rests in the balance. Or not. What does that mean? Here, check this out. I'm looking at the list of missions for all the different bases, and some of them look... familiar. Let me see. Huh. Apparently they set up bases in various locations and then sent a freelancer in for... training purposes. Training? Practice. Practice? Yeah, the reds and blues are just there to test the skills of the freelancers. You mean the blues? No, I mean both of them. Both of us. It says here that simulation bases will present scenarios that may occur for freelancer agents in a galactic battlefield. Simulation? He means we're like lab rats. What? That, that's nonsense! We've been through so much! We had that whole battle with the blues for the something or other, and then we set off that bomb thingy! And we got blasted through time and met an alien, and that guy got pregnant! According to this, that is... Scenario 3. 3?! Why us, though? Let me see, let me see. Uh, bases are outfitted with matching weapons and vehicles to ensure long conflict and are staffed by... Low-level operatives. Hey, who's that report calling low-level? Stupid report. Punch it. Candidates for red and blue squads will be culled from enlisted army ranks based on low test scores and poor field skills so as to not be missed on... That actually does sound like me. What about you? I thought you were smart. Did you have low test scores, too? Hey, those time limits aren't fair. It should be important that I know the information, not how fast I know it. Jeez, guess I hit a nerve. And don't even get me started on the number two pencils. Well, Sarge, I always said command was full of... Sarge? Uh, that's good. Uh, maybe a little to the left. What is all this? Oh, this is new red base. Welcome. When did you build this? Oh, I didn't build this. Your sergeant did. What? He built this? When? Oh, just now. He walked out of the room like ten seconds ago. Oh, he got sad about something, so he's making a red base here. And I'm helping. I am great at building forts. See? I already built a blue base. Ours has blankets. Go away! Sarge, what is all this? Simmons, didn't you hear? We're cannon fodder. Practice! Well, if I'm the leader of junk, I may as well have a base made out of junk. Pretty appropriate, right? Looks like shit. That was rhetorical, dirtbag. Well, sir, I think this is an excellent strategy. The blues will never... Blues? Simmons, don't you get it yet? Griff was right all along. Thank you, sir. Don't call me that anymore. Sarge, this place is one lie after another. We don't know if... Oh, we know. I know. You want to fool yourself, go ahead. You're just upset, sir. Don't call me that. What? Call you what? Sir, from now on, you call me by my name. Sarge. Or dog. I'm not in charge anymore. Ah, quit. You what? Uh-oh. I get the feeling somebody else's world just got rocked. Yeah, I'll start working on another fort. Tex, stop. Where are we going? There's only one person left who knows what happened to me. The director. The director? Nobody even knows who he is! I can think of two people who might know. Wash and the Meta. Wash and Meta? Are you kidding me? Tex, forget all this. What if they don't even know? Then I get to kill Wash and Meta. If I can't find the director, I'll just dismantle everything he ever built. Tex, I think the director built all this for you. Ugh. Even more reason to burn it all to the ground. Facing Wash and Meta is suicide even if we knew where they were. We don't. How the hell are you going to find them? They'll find us. Oh, so what? We just hold up? And wait for them to come without ever even knowing when that's going to be? No. They'll come now. How? Are you just going to call them on the phone? Something like that. Tex? I needed you to come. Sheila said the recovery beacon wouldn't activate until we left the storage facility. Tex? I didn't ask to be paired with you. I didn't want to come back. But I'm here now, so I'm going to put an end to this. Tex, I would have helped you. You can't even help yourself. That's why you made me, Church. You made me to take on all the things you can't handle, just like you always have. Well, guess what? I'm going to handle it. Washington will be coming now. I have some things to get ready. Tex, why are you doing this? Funny you should ask. That's exactly what I plan to find out. What is that? Where is that coming from? It can't be. I'm getting it too. I should have known he might end up there. What is it? It's a recovery beacon. It's him. It's Epsilon. Doc, go get a vehicle. Meta, you grab the memory unit. 
But where are we going? We're going to the only place that's left. There he is. Something doesn't seem right here. Stop the car. Stop? I don't like this. How did he get hurt? Why isn't anyone helping him? You're right. This is a trap. Those walls there? Perfect for a sniper. We walk into where he's hurt and suddenly we're boxed in. Nowhere to go. You think the Reds are trying to ambush us? The Reds? <laughs> no. This is an actual military tactic. We drilled it all the time in training. No. Whoever set this up is a freelancer. Yeah, but if a freelancer set this up, wouldn't they know that you guys were freelancers and that you would recognize this as soon as you saw it? What? No, you're overthinking it. That's just... Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> Told you so. Sergeant! Sergeant! What do you want, Blue? I need your help. Our help? Yes, Church is hurt. They must have gotten to him in Tex. They got Tex? Good. That just means she won't be able to beat the hell out of us anymore. No, we have to rescue them. Rescue them? Are you nuts? No one told them to leave. They're on their own. But this guy! Sergeant, please! Uh, hey dude, I don't know if you've picked up on this yet, but if you want to convince Sarge to do anything, I don't think the best argument is the Blues might die if we don't. Cowboy up, Caboose. I'm coming with you. What? I said I'm helping him. Who, the blue guy? Why on earth would you ever help a blue for no reason? We'll need some weapons. How'd your equipment test go, Simmons? About as well as you would expect. Huh, that's too bad. Well, I'm not going, and you can't make me. You quit, remember? I don't take orders from you anymore, and besides, this whole command structure thing was bullshit anyway. We all know that now. I'm not telling you to go. I'm not even asking. You're not? Nope. I'm going. That's it. If you want to come, then come on. But I don't expect you to. Simmons will probably tell you that statistically... Some of us will probably die. All of us. All of us will probably die. But that's not what's important. Let me ask you two a question. You ever wonder why we're here? Um, it does seem to be one of life's great mysteries. No, I mean you! What are you doing here? You always act like you want to quit. But hell, you could have left whatever you wanted. No one would have stopped you. So why are you here? And you, Simmons. Me? Say you want to be in charge. They would have given you your own squad a dozen times over. You know it, and I know it. But you're still here. And you, Tucker, as much as I hate to admit it, you're actually good at being a soldier. I am? I know you like to make your rude comments and pretend like it all doesn't matter. But an entire alien race chose you to be their hero. So why are you here? And Caboose? Uh, it's good to see you. Thanks. I'm really enjoying the speech so far. Maybe you're all here because this is the only place you fit in. Maybe you're here because you don't have anywhere else to go. Maybe you're all here because deep down, you want to be here. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that you're here. For all we know, Tex and Church are dead. That means we're the only ones who know what's happened. The only ones who can prevent them from covering it up. So the way I figure it, these freelancer guys will use us, take us away from our families, Send us all over the dead gum galaxy just to test if their agents are ready for the big fight? Well, I guess I'm interested in showing them exactly what a big fight is all about. Time to clean a slate. So I'm not ordering you to go. I ain't even asking. You do what you gotta do, Private Griff. <sighs> now I'll go get my car keys. Ah, all right then. Let's move. I don't think a jeep will get us there soon enough. But I think I know what we can use. This. Who the hell is gonna drive that? Why is everyone looking at me? Text. 
you're supposed to be dead. Don't sound so disappointed. You'll make me cry. Where's the director? The director? How would I know that? Wrong answer. That just means stop flying, right? Brace for impact! Oh shit! This is gonna suck! I still haven't got my peanuts.
could say that was the cavalry, but I've never seen a line of horses crash into the battlefield from outer space before. Hey, is it possible for a memory fragment out of an artificial intelligence program enclosed inside of a robotic body to piss its pants? Because I'm pretty sure I just did that. Come on. Let's see how many of your friends survive that. You know, they're not really my friends. That's okay, I'm sure none of them really survived. Griff! Look what you did to our ship! Ah, fuck it, it's a rental. Good point, fuck it! Has anybody seen Tex? I'm sorry, Epsilon. The meta captured her in the memory unit. There it is! Over here! Help! Epsilon, there's nothing we can do. She's stuck in there. So, let her out! We rigged it so it's one way. We didn't want you to escape again. We'll unrig it! I need to get it to a lab, somewhere with tools. Simmons? Hey, he's the expert. I don't know what I can do to help. And it's in no condition to move. If it locks down before I can open it, she'll be trapped in there. We should try something. If I let her out, you have to come with me. Yes, fine. Just get her out. Caboose, Tucker, get in the base. See if you can find some tools. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. You three find me anything that has power. Anything and everything. We're going to need a lot to keep it online. On it! I can get her out. What? No, it's my only option. I need you, Epsilon. You're my only ticket out of this mess. If you get stuck in there, they'll never believe me. I'm not going back to prison. I can do it. No, I won't let you. You can't stop me. I have to help her. She's here because of us. Because of me? Not you. Us. Me. And Alpha. And the Director. You've started to remember. I found some journals from the Director. She's someone from his life. Someone he loved. Allison. Her name was Allison. Allison. When they made Alpha... She came back. She was a byproduct of the process. She's just a shadow. Don't call her that! She died in her real life, and that's all the director ever remembered of her. So now, no matter how tough she is, no matter how hard she fights, she's always going to fail, because that's what she's based on. No matter what she's doing, or what she's trying to accomplish, just when her goal is within her reach, it gets yanked away. Every. Single. Time. Can you imagine what that's like? I think I'm getting the idea. Simmons, what are we looking for? Uh, power cells, batteries, anything. How is a power cell different from a battery? Griff, this is not the time! Hey! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Come on, Griff, let's go! Aren't we supposed to run away from explosions? Ah! What happened? The meta. There. I was afraid we wouldn't get to kick a little ass today. Come on, fellas. Caboose, stay with Church. Okay. And try not to kill him by accident. Okay. Sad day, but he died.
get someone else to do his work for him. He will be missed. Until we get a replacement. And then forgotten immediately. I can't believe he's gone. You know, sometimes when somebody falls off a cliff in movies, he's actually just over the edge hanging on a tree branch or something. Nope. He's definitely dead. Maybe we should look just in case. I think looking would get our hopes up. And Griff wouldn't like that. Griff would want our expectations to be as low as possible. Let's honor him by not looking. And then have a nice lunch. I'm taking Monte Cristo sandwich. Are you sure? I could just peek right over the edge. Sounds like a waste of time. Wouldn't even take a second. Yep. Oh, for, oh, for God's, God's sake, sake, just look over the damn edge! I can't hold on for much longer! Griff! Dangling on the job again, I see! Dag never to hate cliffhangers! Oh, just pick me up! Yeah, I don't know, it's in really bad shape. So are you. There's not much time. I need you to use it on me. Me? I can't, I'm a medic! I took an oath! Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first is, uh, do no harm, right? Well, actually, now first is lobby against socialist reform. But second is, yeah, that no harm thing. Caboose? Here. Pick it up. I can't, Church. Yes, you can. You do this all the time. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, okay. Okay, Caboose. I'm sure I can do it on my own. But what if you don't come out again? Well, you know what Delta always said, right? Memory is the key. If I don't come back, then you're in charge of remembering me, okay? Don't let Tucker help. He'll just fuck it up. Bye, buddy. What's going on here? Church with Ed, he's going to find her. That unit looks bad. Let me see what I can do to stabilize it. Doc, go check on Wash. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh no. What? What? It's only gonna be open for a few more seconds. After that, he'll be trapped. Come on, Church. You can do it. Can you hear me? You can... Right towards my voice! It's shutting down. I can't stop it. Church? Are you there? Caboose? I'm sorry. Church? Where the hell did the pelican in the water come from? Hmm, I don't know. I guess the meta must have hijacked it and crashed it here. That makes sense, right? Man, the chairman is going to be pissed. The budget only allows for one crashed pelican per mission. Alright, well I guess you guys check out. You can head back to your training bases now. We just call them bases! <laughs> I bet. Hey, we solved your problem. Not bad for trainees. Gotta hand it to you. Killing one of these agents would be tough. But three? And this guy? The chairman will not be happy he's dead. Think he wanted to debrief him personally. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, be sure to let him know we're sorry. Whatever, you're free to go. If we need you, we know where to find you. Why are you guys helping me? You'll help us, Wash. That only makes sense. Yeah, plus we need to even the teams. And I couldn't put up with Caboose constantly asking, Can we keep him? Can we keep him? For whatever it's worth, Thanks. So, looks like Blue Team has a new recruit, Sarge. Doesn't look so tough to me. Maybe this one can shoot. Come on, fellas. Let's go home. Uh, Jeep's busted, Sarge. Are we walking? That depends. You fellas gotten over your fear of flying yet? Yes, sir. Wait! Hey! You can't take that! That's, that's your NC property! Hey Chief, what do you want me to do with this thing? I can't get anything out of it, it's dead as a doornail. I don't care. Toss it in evidence. It's all a bunch of junk now anyway. I'd like to say that I found her right away. That I just walked into the Epsilon unit and there she was waiting for me. As you can probably guess, it didn't happen that way, but I know she's in here somewhere. And I'll find her. We always seem to find each other. For better or for worse. I don't know why the director did what he did. I don't know if he was trying to revive a memory from his past, or if he was just trying to get it out of his head. But I figured out something that the director didn't. It took Alpha, Delta, and all the rest to help piece it together for me, but... What I've learned is that... A great love... Is a lot like a good memory. When it's there, and you know it's there but it's just out of your reach. 
It can be all that you think about. You can focus on it and try to force it. But the more you do, the more you seem to push it away. But if you're patient and you hold still, well maybe, just maybe, it'll come to you. I just need to make sure I'm somewhere that she can find me. I think this place is a little different than it was before. See, out there, everything is based on the Alpha. But in here, well, I guess I'm the Alpha. And maybe this time through, things will be a little different for me as well. I guess I'll find out. Hey, Church, come on. I think the Red's got a new vehicle. Let's check it out. They only got a Jeep. We got a tank. That's way better. Okay, I'll be right there. And I mean hell. If you have to live the rest of your life in a memory, you might as well make it a good one. Pilot speaking. We'll be flying at altitudes of varying heights as we struggle desperately with the controls, and then we will be slamming into the ground at high velocity. We'll be slightly ahead of schedule. Now, if you please direct your attention to Caboose, we'll demonstrate the safety features of our D 77H TCI dropship. Hello. All Blue vs. Red airlines come equipped with three emergency exits, which are welded shut for your safety reasons. Please keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times. No flash photography, and please take bright babies to the lobby. In the event of a water landing, start swimming. In the event of a fire landing, please burn. If we have an air landing, that means we are still flying. And if we experience a snow landing, everyone should fall outside the vehicle while it slides across a big icy glade, and then does this tilty teetery thing on the edge of a cliff before it tumbles into the ocean below. That almost never happens, though. Do we at least get any peanuts? No, but we have a community jar of peanut butter that you can stick your finger in and lick. Gross! How about a drink? Oh, that would be great. And while you're getting one, would you please get something for me? Uh, this is a co-pilot again. Yeah, we're crashing. No! We want to thank you for crashing with Blue vs. Red Airlines. We know you have a choice when it comes to crashing, and we hope you consider us for all your future crashing needs. Panic, 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 panic! Terror in the sky! Terror in the sky! Initiating outtake sequence. Now what are you going to do, Gus? I'm going to do this all in one take. Now, I don't know if you're ready, but let's make sure you can keep up out there. So one take means... You don't even have to write down the times. Like, you're just going to take this file and cut it up and lay it in, and it's going to be perfect. I'm even going to do the other characters in one take as well. In their voice? Yeah. In the, what, how else would I do them? <laughs> well, why do we even need anyone else? Yeah. All right. That's what I've been saying. Red versus Blue, starring Gus. And <laughs> go. Hey, Blue, you suck. Oh, wait, that's not me. <laughs> start over. Start over. <laughs> okay, uh, this is me, Agent Washington. I'm going to be doing some stuff with some guys. We're going to be doing things with guys in the desert and then other places probably. I don't know exactly where we are, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the tree did seem to like you best. Truth of it did. Yeah, but the tree seemed to like you best. Yeah, but the tree did seem to like you best. Truth of it did, though. Huh? Just the tree seemed to like you best. Yeah, tree seemed to like you best. But the tree seemed to like you best. <laughs> yeah, but the tree did seem to like you best. No, did though? <laughs> Just, yeah, but the tree seemed to like you best. No, did. Oh. Yeah, but the tree seemed to like you best. But the tree seemed to like you best. Right. Do you need that? Did I say that? No, you never said it that way. <laughs> Just like a catheter, that's weird. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm wasting so much time right now. Yeah, but the tree did seem god damn it. <laughs> and now he's got all sand in his ports. Sounds, like... Sounds like you've got sand in your ports, bitch. Yeah, the tree seemed to like you best. You did forget the last. <laughs> I said, yeah, I, I said, I said, well, you, you know, you are the one with the gun and everything. You all right, all right, all right. <laughs> 
Yeah, but the tree seemed to like you. <laughs> You get it right. You get it, you get it right. You get all excited when you get it right. Get your typing fingers ready, Simmons. <sighs> okay, I'll bring my carpal tunnel bracers. <sighs> okay, I'll bring my carpal tunnel bracers. Bracers or braces? <laughs> what are they? What are they? Braces. I'm, I'm, I've got wow in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing. Hey, there you have your worshipy guy. <coughs> Worshipable? Look! The Reds! They're back! And they have the worshipable uh, guy. And then I have a line where we walk up the wall. Let's do one over here, over there. Dad, we, I can't remember. We need to go, uh, um, come on, Kibbutz, it's right over this way. Okay. I don't know what we're talking about right now. Butts, 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 butts. That was Butts by Bernie Burns. Who's he talking to? Damn right, it's fucking gold. Cirola gold. Beat the crap out of it and settle that puppy up. And or turn him into diesel. But that takes a while. You're a traitor to the combustion engine, Simmons. My grandpappy didn't fight in the industrial revolution for nothing. All that diesel ain't gonna burn itself. I could try on one of you. Oh my god. Look, it's so loose fitting in the crotch. <laughs> this is awesome. I put that on, walk around, everyone thinks of you. The crotch. Ah. Uh, uh. Are you getting horny, Gus? Caboose, I need you to listen to my my time is brief. Epilon is not in the control right now, but he will be again soon. Uh, who are you again? <laughs> I'm Caboose. What's with all the post-effect smoke? What's all this steam? Feel like I'm in a sauna. <laughs> Give me a power cord, bitch. 